Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know who I am, my name's Nanette. And yeah, this is probably my first review video. Who knew I'd be doing this? It's a little bit different today, but um, yeah, I'm excited to share this with all of you. So, let's get down to business. <laughs> Yes, this, this is my setup. Make sure everything's nice and clean and we're ready to go. The lash glue doesn't come out. I'm gonna just dip it straight into the packet because why not? That's how I do things here. Okay, everyone, so I am back. A little bit crazy. I've used actually two of the rows, so I'm already halfway through. I'm gonna go ahead and put the other eye on. Absolutely crazy. It does not even come out. don't look too bad at all as you can see there are no more lashes they are all finished I thought it honestly took a little bit longer to apply the lashes to my second eye because as I was applying more lashes I've noticed that the glue from the lash glue was actually sticking to the tweezers a little bit so it got really really clumpy and it actually became a lot harder to apply the lashes I honestly hope I hope that they stay on for at least a couple of days if not maybe a week I don't really expect much because I don't really like holding to high expectations um, so hopefully I'll be able to update you soon in the meantime stay safe and stay warm today is the day after my lash application when I woke up I was actually really pleased to see there was actually no fallout which is great so my plan for today is to actually film I've got something else to film for this afternoon which requires me to actually wear makeup um i'm a bit nervous for that because i usually wear um liquid eyeliner so i might actually skip that part for now i'm gonna wait a little bit longer to see whether or not it will work i haven't showered yet so um the lashes haven't gotten wet at all so i'll come back when i put my makeup on and I'm actually going to tell you how I go with removing the makeup. Hi all, just a little update again. So I've removed my makeup and so far so good. Um, I tried to not touch my lash line so if you look really closely you can see just the tiniest bit of makeup, the um, makeup where you know it's right near my lash line and it's really hard to reach so I'm going to have a shower tonight and hopefully remove the rest of it off with water. Um, but other than that, no fallout, which has been really great. Um, yeah, so, so far so good. And so I've just gotten out of the shower. It's still day two. It's actually at the end of the day. Yeah, like I said, I've tried not to um, touch it too much. And yeah, nothing's fallen out. So I'm pretty impressed at the moment. Um, I'm really impressed that the glue has been able to stay for that long. Um, yeah, so maybe it's true. Maybe it does last a couple of days, even weeks. We'll see how we go. It's currently about probably past midnight now, but yeah, this is, I think, day four. I don't know how I feel about these. Day one and two, obviously, they were fine. And then around day three, I started noticing um, a little bit of fallout, especially around this area. I think it has to do with my sleep. So I sleep on the right side. I'm just going to quickly show you on the left hand side here um, the lashes on the end are still intact yeah we'll see how the rest of the days go throughout the week now I just wanted to jump on here just to explain what happened in the last few shots so what happened was it was around day 9 and the morning of that day I actually like I actually rubbed my eye so that happened that's why um, I was outside I was trying to show you all uh, how it really looked um, because the light in my room didn't show it as much 
but yeah that day I actually took them off because they started to look absolutely ridiculous anyway let's move on to the review so I'll discuss the pros and cons and I know that I blab on a lot so I'll make it quick the first pro that I found once I applied it was it was super super easy to apply unless you're not used to touching your eye or you're not used to strip lashes um, or contacts you probably won't feel as comfortable doing these number two you can style them any way you like because they come in individual lashes you have that liberty to just place them wherever you'd like on the lash line and create your you know your look so those are the two main obvious pros that you can you know tell without even trying the product now because I've tried the product I'll tell you more pros that I found whilst putting them on so are they a cheap alternative Hell yeah. These cheap Ardell products can range from 8 Australian dollars all the way to maybe like 15 max. They also pass visually as eyelash extensions. They can look like eyelash extensions if you put them on properly. And they do last a few days. So if you are going out on a quick weekend trip, they're perfect. They're perfect for that occasion. If you're going out for the night, it's great for that too. Now, do they last a week? Because I am in quarantine, they do last a week. I don't know if I can go out like that. I'm not even too sure if I'd be able to, you know, go out knowing that I've lost lashes towards the side of my eye. Which brings us to the cons. Now, do they last a week or two? Mm. Not two. Not, not two weeks. Definitely not. I'm not too sure if it's the way I applied it. However, to my experience, they do not last maybe even a week you'll be lucky if they did technically they did last me nine days because i did take them off on the ninth day i would not go out in public looking like that so realistically i think they probably lasted maybe five to six days max the first thing that i noticed about these lashes is that if you put too much glue on one lash it will start to look really clumpy and because it dries up and throughout the days you can kind of see where the glue is dried up so that was definitely a con for me however i'm not too sure if it was the way that i applied it considering that i was still new to it maybe it was something that i could prevent you need to be extremely cautious about how you sleep and what position you sleep in because i always like to sleep on my side you can tell that the fallout was a lot faster on my right eye rather than my left eye if i slept on my back or if you're a person who sleeps on their back it's perfect for you however i do know that there are some lash extension eye masks that you can wear to protect your lashes maybe that's something that you know if you really want to invest in that that's something that's probably great for you and it's probably great for professional eyelash extensions as well i will link it down below if i find any i didn't really think about it until after my review so one last thing i wanted to tell you all is that you do pay for what you get so if you go out to a professional lash technician and get a full set you do get what you pay for they're gonna last you a lot more um days weeks whereas if you pay eight dollars nine dollars uh, a little bit more for the glue yeah you're, you're going to expect that they're not gonna last you probably a month now final question is do i rate it yeah kind of like maybe 75 80 percent I know that in my heart that it probably could have have gone better. I'm still learning how to apply them. But if you are trying to budget, if you can't get that lash appointment booked, maybe this is a really good option to start off with. I wouldn't be too quick to say no to this product. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this. Give it a like if it helped you. Let me know. I'd love to hear what your opinions are. Also, there's this other lash product that I really really want to try it's called Lashify it's got a completely different price point but let me know in the comments if you'd also like me to try that out it's something that I'm considering all the products that I've mentioned in this video are linked down below in my description box feel free to check it out hopefully I'll get the eye mask in there as well but um yeah that's the end of this video um i really hope you enjoyed it if you'd like more content from me feel free to subscribe and click that notification bell um but yeah until next time i'll see you later